Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Well, it's official. Canada returned to uh, normalcy, uh, at least at its borders. So it seems like Canada to drop the COVID-19 entry requirements in about, what, four days? And uh, this article comes from Sputnik, from Russia, and it's uh, from today, the 26th of September, 2022. Canada to drop COVID-19 entry requirements on October 1st. Health Minister says yes. That means exactly. So Canada will remove all, all COVID-19 related border requirements for all travelers entering the country beginning on October 1st, Ministry of Health Jean-Yves Duclos said on Monday, we are announcing that the government of Canada will not renew the order in council that expires on September 30th and will therefore remove all COVID-19 border requirements for all travelers entering Canada. Duclos said at the press conference, didn't think this includes the removal of all federal testing. That's great, finally, normality. They let us leave, they allow us to be uh, uh, normal, or at least to attempt. So, uh, removal of all federal testing, quarantine and isolation requirements, as well as the mandatory submission of health information in Rive Can or Canada. Well, um, Transport Minister Omar, uh, Omar, oh, Olgabra also announced that air and rail travelers will not longer be required to undergo health check or wear masks on planes and trans trains. Cruises will also no longer have to review the vaccination status of crew and passengers. How much these guys took out of our, our freedoms, unbelievable. Duclos said that Canada was in much better position than we were in 2020, largely due to the vaccination and observance of other public health measures. He added that more than 85% of Canadians had received at least two doses of COVID-19 vaccines and Moderna news bi bivalent, bivalent, bivalent vaccine specifically targeting the Omicron variant was now, now available to all adults. Well, why don't you try to uh, make it mandatory? Why do you make it just, uh, you know, like that? Uh, well, I think they uh, reached their quota of... Uh, so now they say, well, 85 is good. I mean, pff, who would sell a pair of shoes to 85% of the entire population <laughs> or adult population of a country? Huh? <laughs> the pharmaceutical companies <laughs> with the uh, help of their uh, elected officials. Imagine having a product tomorrow you come let's say with a I don't know a ring and that ring will be mandatory bought by 85% of the population of a country. And now Canada is not that big, it is what 40 million or so. But you, you take the adults, you still sell it to 20 million, right? Let's say. Just like that, boom, because the government makes you, because it's a pandemic of rings. <laughs> well, man, uh, the health minister called on Canadians to get a booster if it had been six months since their last dose, comparing the practice to charging a phone battery. <laughs> and someone's bank account, how about that? <laughs> what? Why don't they compare the booster with depositing money in uh, someone's bank account, not yours, but in your health? You invest in your health. What if I don't care if I die? How about that? Oh, you should care about the other ones. Well, why don't you get your vaccines if you want to cling to everything in your life? Do you want me to stay in the basement because you are afraid of life? <laughs> <laughs> take your vaccines, take the triple, double, extra bzz, <laughs> premium, the Lamborghini, <laughs> the Lamborghini. <laughs> oh, 
Oh man, I can't believe that we got so fast to this. I can't believe. Remember, this is not the first. This is not the last time. This is the first time, but not the last time. And the next one will be more than this. I'm not talking about uh, the illness or the you know the pandemic. No, I'm not talking about that. About what we will mandate it by uh, they call it somehow council or something. I don't know exactly how you call it here. I have to find a federal remove ba 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 order in council. Renew the order in council. They will issue more orders in council for you, I bet, and they're gonna be more restrictive. And uh, this was like a test, you know? Remember my uh, model of uh, mountain slope? When you try to break a news and you're not certain that the population will accept what you say, you start slowly, right? First day this, next day you up it a little bit and you test to see how the population reacts. Like a bully. Like a bully rarely comes and punches you in your face straight. If they're afraid a little bit they're just gonna you know start slow look at you hey what's going on man um, what are you looking at uh, bum, 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 until they and if you stop it right there which the population did not got to this point with the mandates so the next time is gonna be uh, much more restrictive and could be on anything I'm assuming it's gonna be because there's sun, the sun uh, light outside and that's uh, very much dangerous for cancer uh, skin cancer and the global global warming we cannot go outside because we will melt or something like that yeah they can say whatever they want the problem is uh, you know this to me proved that we got we reached this point very fast very fast and um, wait wait the fact that they got away with it the first time the second time is gonna be uh, more uh, how should I put it uh, it's gonna clearly happen again and it's gonna be easier next time I mean they made you wear masks outside in park alone or driving alone in your car <laughs> or things like this is like what is this um, yeah I've come from a communist country and over there they would uh, not really explain why they would make you do things but they will make it uh, for your own health and in, uh, your health and interest okay they were caring for you more than you would care for yourself because you were dumb you didn't know what to do I mean there were some smart people over there like here there's some smart people over there they tell you what is good for you and what's not good for you okay well I'm telling you we get to this uh, we got to this point where is uh, unfortunately more like them than uh, like us and unfortunately they have power and uh, is like having children having power over the adults imagine the world you remember that book that was written <laughs> like that right when uh, the children take the power and they rule uh, and run the world and it gets to what disaster well this is where we're gonna end up with these <sighs> adult bodies with child brains that's where we're gonna get uh, we always had in our societies uh, the weak you know in any way mentally weak morally weak physically weak and if those guys somehow through an um, artificial society which is this one got in a certain uh, position of power um, because right now if you want to graduate to college you just show up with a pen and you're gonna graduate if you just come to class and someone pays for it <laughs> then uh, you graduate and then you're gonna get a position somewhere maybe with power and you are you know as you are and uh, look at look at uh, for instance the United States I'm not gonna talk about Canada you have a uh, prime minister who's just a you know I don't know if he knows anything does he know is he st what I mean art because he was was an art uh, dance or whatever he was dance class whatever he was good for him but uh, look at our uh, leadership our United States Biden semi semi conscious <laughs> and uh, it's with sprints like a uh, half an hour sprint and then he needs like three days uh, recuperation and the injections and other stuff then you have Kamala which is oh my god she's genuinely genuinely low IQ and then you got Blinken the same you got uh, what the other one Jack uh, can't remember always uh, uh, Sullivan another weasel another you got Mark Milley you got Austin 
Just listen to them. You don't have to trust me. Just listen to them. These are not fantastic people. They're not impressive people. They are mediocrities. They're mediocre people. How did they get there? And they make our lives. They dictate our lives. Anyway, look at the other politicians. Forget about them. At least they're elected. But these guys here, I'm not talking about Biden and Kamala, which <laughs> who voted for them. The next one is going to be a dead. The president, the candidate will be dead and the vice president is going to be in a coma. That's a problem or vice versa. The president is going to be in a coma and the vice president or whatever you want to call that person is going to be in a dead person. I mean, these guys are very close to that level. Biden and Kamala, I'm telling you. There's no way these guys are making one decision. There's no way unless they make a decision to open a door or take a dump or something like that. Unfortunately. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Going to Canada? You bet your ass I'm going to Canada. Well, I don't know. My parents don't let me yet. So I got to ask the parents here if they allow me. Kamala and Biden. Uh, Osama bin Biden. Thank you very much to for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.